So what is a seance? A seance is a controlled environment where we have sitters, uh, mediums, healers, psychics, all joined together as a group, collective, um, to produce phenomena in darkened and lightened conditions. In lightened conditions, there is no, not usually any white light produced. Um, at the moment, I have uh, white lights on, so you can see what the room looks like, how I'm describing things, and and how everything's set out. So usually there is uh, either a blue or red light only, depending on how the medium works. Every medium works completely different with different colors, but white light is not used in seances because of the fact that it disperses energy. So white light disperses energy. And for this case, there are this place has been purposely built, this room has been purposely built where there are no windows, so it doesn't allow any sunlight in. Um, there is good enough ventilation through the exit doors when we leave them open. And so we leave them open before uh, a seance, so to oxygenate the room. Um, so basically, how a seance, what a seance is, is a group collective of individuals um, giving their energy in that time to have contact from the other side, phenomena, um, a really good time. It's all very, very positive. So nothing scary at all. Um, the only thing that's scary is the, the fear of the unknown and things that could happen that's negative and that never happens during uh, a seance. And in my experience, um, since the very beginning of seances is that I've never experienced anything bad. It's always been very positive, uplifting. People are laughing, giggling and really taken away by the phenomena and, and the magic that sort of happens. So a seance is is in a controlled environment where sitters, uh, the medium is, is perfectly controlled in a way that it's in harmony for all. So how we do this is that before a seance, everyone's checked. Um, so there's nothing in their pockets. All there is is just themselves and their clothes. They come and sit down and they are the sitters, they are the batteries which give energy. Then we have uh, the music person who plays the music um, during that time, stopping and starting, uh, turning the, the volume up and down to uh, get the energy up for, for singing and, and, and harmony. Then we have the circle leader um, who basically is like the person in the room who controls uh, when the lights turn on and off and communicating with the medium, medium's guide or the medium during that time of when to turn the lights on, when to lift the curtain up and anything other, any other things that are requested from the medium's form at that time. And then we have the medium which is sat in this chair um, in a cabinet. And the reason why it's in a cabinet is because when the medium is, is sat in the chair, they are cable tied by a number of individuals who um, strap the, the medium into the chair itself so they cannot be uh, easy set free. And uh, other sitters are allowed to check the whole room for any hidden props, any masks or anything that should be, shouldn't be in the room itself that could be used to uh, signify any sort of fraudulent activity. So everything remains in harmony and, and, and balanced. Another thing about the cabinet is that they are usually closed. So we have on this cabinet, one that we created is made out of three doors, painted black, and then we have a curtain over. Now, this may seem like a magic trick and whatever's taking place is that there's some magic, but remember that the medium is cable tied or bound into the chair and cannot be set free. So any phenomena that takes place um, from the cabinet, we know that is, it is genuine. During that time a seance is taking place is that all the sitters, including the circle leader and the music person, they're all holding hands and touching feet during the whole time of darkened conditions. And even in lightened conditions when there is a uh, red light or blue light being produced is that everyone in the whole room can see phenomena taking place from the cabinet itself. The cabinet may move. Now this, this cabinet is quite heavy. It takes a bit of force to really move about and spirit will often move objects in the room, chairs being pulled uh, from sitters, um, cabinets moving, but however, every medium works completely different. Um, we have a regular medium here, so there is 
usually the standard uh, procedures that happen and the way experiences happen. Um, but in life and conditions, you can see exactly what's taking place. You can see the ectoplasm being produced. And this is why it's important not to have white light during that time. So a seance is filled with laughter, beauty, love, um, contact from the other side sometimes, uh, lots of jokes and fun. It's nothing serious. It's nothing scary. And this is what a seance room looks like. It's uh, very beautiful to experience. Um, you just have to have no expectations. Um, come in with good high spirits and um, yeah, just, uh, just give your energy and what you see, feel and experience may be something paranormal or phenomenal, but I can guarantee you that if you have come here with an open mind and understand and of the energies beyond the physical, you're going to have a great time. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.